Traveling isn't easy no matter how you're doing it. If you're driving, you have to pay those crazy gas prices. And if you're flying, well, you have to navigate through the delays and all those cancellations. But despite all this, AAA is still predicting a new record. More than 48 million travelers this weekend. Tonight, we want to help you get to your destination the fastest and cheapest way possible. Tiffany Chan has your story from the Sagamore Bridge. Summer travel is in full swing, and so is the traffic heading to Cape Cod ahead of this 4th of July weekend. Moving smoothly, but bumper to bumper. It's plainly building. This driver has been in this stop and go traffic all the way down to the Sagamore Bridge before. It's a brutal ride on any given summer weekend, but before Independence Day, a AAA Northeast spokeswoman says timing your trip wisely could save you time, the headache, and gas. Really try to avoid traveling on Thursday and Friday afternoon and early evening. Either leave early if it's possible or postpone your trip until a little bit later in the evening. Friday noon to 9 p.m. is the worst time to travel. Your best bet is to leave before 10 in the morning. On Saturday, avoid that 2 to 4 o'clock hour. Instead, hit the road before noon or after dinner. Gregor McGregor will be one of the 42 million estimated Americans who will get behind the wheel this weekend, but he's heading away from the Cape. Uh, it's aggravating, <laughs> a lot of smoke and pollution, um, and uh, you got to find a place for gas or food or a pit stop. The sky-high gas prices aren't deterring folks from traveling, but people are being mindful of how they're getting to their destinations. You can't even get over the bridge, so just getting around on the buses is just easier. It saves you money. Yes, like everybody, vacations are now local, especially family vacations are enjoying more Massachusetts, more New England. So whether you're headed to the Cape or New Hampshire or staying home, experts say fill up your gas tanks now before prices go up as demand peaks this weekend. From the Cape, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.